BMS sweep. I don't know what BMS means. Uh, probably bring more setups. But um, uh, is that a local as well? Yeah, that's gotcha. the George Mason local. Um, but um, okay. So way, Jacklet representing the George Mason tag here. All right. So we see this 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 particular matchup, Squirtle versus DDD, seems absolute garbage for DDD. Yeah, that, <laughs> definitely one of those small bodies, hard to hit, big body, easy to hit Cause combo character. Yeah, Squirtle yeah. can combo you to heck. Yeah, so, especially such a big body. And I think we see Local Lobo knowing that and trying to space out these arrows, trying to get the spacing Ooh. with the Gordo. It's a good read there, and we'll connect with the Gordo. Now this is forcing the switch to Ivy maybe a little later than Minchak <laughs> wanted to. That was the straightest Ooh. up B I've ever seen from an Ivysaur. Just at uh, ledge yeah. going straight down. <laughs> and that is good matchup awareness there from Minchaklet. You know, if you're jumping around DDD, DDDs love to up smash in that situation. Absolutely. Very good spacing, able to avoid that situation. All right. And also good matchup awareness, weirdly enough, the fact that he knows that Loco Lobo is going to absorb and shoot back those <laughs> the razor, razor leaves because he, he continuously jumped over the reflected razor leaf. All right, catches him with the up air. That so is man. an absurdly strong move. <laughs> oh, I think, uh, I think Logo was trying for an up smash. It might have been interrupted by his own Gordo. A little bit of friendly fire there, going uh, past the ledge oh. to avoid the down air. Yeah, the little, oh, yeah. Ooh, you just got caught by that up smash. And we're back to the best matchup in the game <laughs> for DDD, of course. Yep. But I, I do see Loco Lobo again, you know, trying to space those Gordos out. Um, you know, you got to prevent, you got to prevent Mint Chaclet as much as you can from getting it on you. So, got to do these safe tilts. No hard committal smashes here. All right, was Ooh. trying for the inhale, gamp off stage, but I um, feel like most players are not going to fall for that right now. <laughs> but um, In the year of our Lord, no. <laughs> Eventually, you stop falling for it. Yep. Great Maybe unless you're these. playing like against a Kirby and you just forget. Because who plays Kirby? What is Kirby? <laughs> I'm going to clobber that dare Kirby. All right. So we see Minchaklet just spacing out these razor leaves. And I like how they're doing the short hop spacing out to maybe get above the hitbox of the... Oh! What a what a terrible projectile that Gordo is sometimes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, if, if you're playing against a character that oh. also has... Yikes! That killed? Wow! Yeah. If you're playing against a character that also has like a projectile, but it's just more spammable, that just twice, thirty-three point three percent, incredibly active and can be used against DDD to enormous effect. All right, does get sucked up by that inhale here. So now we see DDD with the edge guard. DDDs can be very, very good at edge guarding here. But now you're just getting caught by the Ivy Nair and yeah. caught another oh. ball up air. Almost gets him again. Man, Minchakla just put doing fantastic work here of keeping Local Lobo on the back foot. Yeah, caught on that tech chase on the platform. Down air. Forces, yeah, I was looking for it. He did not want to full commit to going off stage with it, which I understand. Yep. Yeah, it makes sense. You definitely got Local Lobo on the ropes Ooh, here. You don't need to babe. do too much. The one time, Jesus, that the one time killed. he doesn't throw out the Razor Leaf. All right. He gets the inhale of the Razor Leaf, forces it back, and forces Mint to tackle across stage. And now we see the Flare Blitz that, oh, no punish. And this is up throw. Yep, good night. Yeah, I was going to say maybe uh, DDD with how heavy he is might live that, but no, that up throw will seal the deal and our game number yeah, one. Yeah, Local Lobo was at 160 there. All right, here we go with game number two. Mint Chocolate on the board with the game one win. Okay, interesting to see. Squirtle's back air was not able to reflect that Gordo for some reason. So I suppose with a complete lack of disjoints, then the Gordo is a little more difficult to reflect back. Oh, this see the big combo coming out from Mint Chocolate, but unfortunately the uh, water gun not able to reflect the Gordo back, but this forces an air dodge off stage and you see the switch to Ivy. I was gonna say, I honestly feel like I've seen the Ivysaur do a lot more work this Absolutely. set in, so far. In this particular set, the Ivysaur has really been doing 
quite a bit of the work, and that was a, little, a bit of a missed input. Local Lobo inhaling the wrong direction. So yeah, because the the razor leaf, uh, just like the constant pressure of it, is so good at reflecting back the Gordo, so it kind of eliminates an entire neutral tool that Loco Lobo, I imagine, is used to relying on. Right. And we see it's kind of this game where just you have Loco Lobo shielding and or um, inhaling and just Min Chakla just maintaining center stage and a little bit of a a little bit of a um, misapproach there. So forces the switch to Charizard. Indeed, and trying to dash attack out of the corner, but yeah. Local Lobo privy to it. Oop. Oh, I'll be out Good. of shield. Good option there from Mint Chaclet. Not going to find the kill just yet. But Local Lobo, of course, also fighting back. But the forward tilt from Charizard, incredibly powerful. Yep, whiff grab on the part of Local Lobo, so easy, easy conversion with the F tilt. And we still have Charizard on the board here. Ooh, doing a little bit of... Sharking there, waiting for Local Lobo to land. Able to find a little bit, but good back air coming out from Local Lobo. Yep, see, so tries to fare. Oh, the flame breath the wrong way, and that'll be the stock. Unfortunate misinput there from Minchaclet. Only going to get 22.2% of extra credit. And now credit. the Squirtle is going to work. All right, oh. good inhale. Local like, Lobo just trying to use that inhale to space around a lot of Mint Chaclet's um, approach options. Unfortunately, not really able to find what he's looking for. All right, so see the Squirtle looking for the approach. He's going to get it here with the inhale. Oh, had the tech roll red, but not able to do too much with it. Sucks when you have a read, but not just barely missed the execution window. <laughs> yep. All right, Squirtle just dashing on the ground, being elusive, waiting for that opening. And is able to whack the Gordo back in the direction of King DDD, but good use of the inhale to reverse stage control here, and does it again. But again, the Gordo, there is that up smash from Loco Lobo, and there's the Razor Relief into the up air, and you see, oh yeah, you cannot yeah. land. You're trying to throw that Gordo up high, I know. Um, very common tactic from DDDs to try and cover their landing, but ultimately the Ivysaur Mint Chaclet still maintaining control here. Up two stocks to one. Indeed, yeah. We'll have to see if... Oh, that was, absorbing that was, it the oh, wrong way. That was weird. <laughs> yeah. I think he jumped over the Razor Leaf and inhaled it as it just as it went under him. Definitely an interesting interaction there. Regrab, but no, he was able to get the Shark. With the, with the Vine Whip. We're, oh, oh! Jesus. As oh. a brave man. Yeah, Loco Lobo living dangerously with that move, but ultimately on their last stock here with an angry Charizard. Now a full rage Charizard. Good patience landing Mint Chaglet. We'll get the back throw. Getting stage control. Tries for the up tilt. Oh, what a catch. Jesus. Gets him with the up beat. Not quite enough to do it yet, but the forward tilt will. A sliding forward tilt. The day one tech and ultimate. And that will be a clean 2-0 victory for Mint Chocolate.